Hello everyone and a warm welcome. Today I wanted to show you the seeds that I bought from Wilco. I don't work for Wilco, but I'm very enthusiastic to show you the different mixed seeds that I've got from them. This one is one river daisy mixed and it can be sown from February indoors. So this plant is 30 centimeters. This one is a nice yellow viola with this beautiful network inside and it can be planted indoors from March. I may experiment with this one planting it a little bit earlier in the end of January, it's 29th of January today. Because I live in London the hardiness zone here is 9A which means it's quite mild. This one is interesting is a mixture of flowers for wildlife and they are blue and white and I was particularly attracted by this beautiful white poppy seeds I think it's Canadian poppy seeds the package doesn't say I checked also online and it doesn't say which plants exactly are included in this beautiful mix but it says plant outdoors so outdoors in March that means I may wait a little bit longer and plant them directly into the ground. This one is Pansy Swiss Giant Mixed. Can be planted indoors, on, indoors in February, from February onwards. And it's 15 centimeters, but the flowers are much larger than, uh, than this one. Viola Comedy Mix. Viola Comedy Mix. And it can be sown indoors from February as well. This one is 15 centimeter tall plant. And I've got very interesting plant, Mesembriantemum. This plant comes from South Africa and in my hardiness zone 9, it may even be perennial plant, which means I don't have to sow it next season which is what I'm hoping for and it can be planted indoors from February and uh, I have to be prepared to keep this plant a little bit longer in my flat indoors because it can be planted out in May which is how many months it's January February March April so I have to wait three and a half perhaps months because it says from late May, gradually acclimatized to outside conditions from late May, which is almost four months in the container. That's why I prepared this kind of container. I um, purchased from the supermarket, I think I bought plums, and it has got nice, ho nice holes inside. This is what I particularly paid attention to, um, to have this drainage. So these are little holes and I want this drainage and then I'm going to put it in the food container like this so the water will not mess, mess up my flat. Now with the holes I tried different methods before. I, put, I was putting leaves, I was putting some kind of stones uh, to prevent this soil from running away, escaping from the container. But this time I decided to use um wood shavings for guinea pigs this was only one pound and of course with time it can degrade to make a nice compost so now it is a little bit wet but when it's dry it's it's a perfect perfect um perfect thing to put it on the bottom of the container like this. So now I will be using seed and cutting compost from Grocer. I bought it from Birch and Garden Center in Brand Cross. I like this garden center a lot. And uh, you can find nice plants, nice little plants um, in some kind of bushes. Last time I bought Clamen from them, this one. Of course, now they they need to be planted in the ground. 
so a little bit perhaps more this mesembryanthemum plant is very interesting because it belongs to a succulent family that means they store water and they are particularly well in dry conditions obviously it's from south africa so um, when i go for holidays i might escape with not watering them very often i've watered this soil now and now it's ready for my little seeds i opened the package before because i was quite curious so this is how they look like tiny white light colored so let's scatter them all over I'll put a little bit more here that's why i've watered it before to prevent water blasting them out because they are so tiny now i will use a spray water in a spray bottle and perhaps i will spray them after i cover them with a thin layer of soil compost shouldn't be a lot of it just a tiny little bit to cover them because some plants they are germinating better if the cover is not very thick that should be enough there is a little lump and i will spray them with water to keep them moist from the top a little bit more and we will see how it grows so i will update you in it says 28 days 14 to 28 days it should germinate seedlings usually appear in two weeks up to one month so i will update you how did they grow and now i will cover it with the kitchen foil to keep nice moist environment inside for them and i will tuck the foil into the container obviously you can use a lead a glass lead or a propagator for this purpose and it's now ready to go so thank you very much for watching i'll update you with the other seeds that i might plant a little bit later Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye.